Hello. Um, this lesson is going to be on um, rehearsal markings in Finale. I'm going to load document without libraries in case you don't have this library loaded for the uh, rehearsal markings. Add some measures. So for rehearsal markings, go up here to the little MF expression tool. Click on that. Excuse me. I just ate. Okay, so go to measure number nine or any measure you want to put a rehearsal marking. I'm going to double click above that measure. Rehearsal mark. See, there's nothing there, so I have to load a library. If you have something there, I'll show you later how you edit this stuff. Close that out. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do this one first. Maestro font. Expressions. I'm going to double click on that one. Now, I just loaded that library when I double clicked on it. So I got my little MF marked right here. I'm going to go to this measure, double click. Now see it's not here under rehearsal marks, but look, I've got a new one right here, rehearsal marks. So I think I finally figured out why my new version of Finale, they, they add these uh, duplicate, it looks like duplicate, but if you load another library of rehearsal marks, it'll it'll be another rehearsal marks down here. I'll show you later. So it helps keep them separated. I guess that's a new way of doing it in Finale. So this comes up. There's your letters right there. This is the automatic way. I'm going to get that mark. Pick that one. I'm going to press a sign. Click on a sign. That A comes up. I'm going to go over here in my score. Double click. I got that selected. I'm going to press assign again. See, it's automatic. I'm going to go over here to the right. and Double click. Pick this one. Press assign. Letter C comes up. It's all automatic. Um, I'm going to double click on this A. I'm going to edit this. I could have edited it when I first brought it up also. Edit. <clears throat> so we got all that. Um, use rehear rehearsal marks category fonts. That means it's only giving you a choice of these. So deselect that check mark. Click on it. Now you can put any font you want up there. I'm going to come over here to character settings. I'm going to put Arial. I like bold 16. Okay. <clears throat> so I got the font I want. Enclosure shape rectangle. We still have that auto sequencing. Okay. I'm going to press assign. Look, it edited all my rehearsal markings now to the new font. Oh, I didn't show you how to edit the... I'm going to double click on that letter again. I'm going to edit something else in there. Got this selected. Edit. I'm going to edit the uh, rectangle. Make it thicker line. Edit. So see line thickness right here? I'm going to make it thicker with a bigger number. And I'm going to grab one of these squares over here. Pull it in tighter. Here I'm going to make it a little thicker. I'll put one nine over there. Let's try two, two five. See that line, how it gets thicker? Two will, or just two. Okay. Watch over here, this letter C now, when I press OK, it's going to get a thicker line. Or when I, when I do a sign right here. See the line got thicker and closer. <clears throat> oh, it's got the square corners. I'm going to press 
Double click on that A again. I'm going to edit again. Edit this rectangle. Now I'm going to round, watch this little square right here, round corners. Wait, that didn't look very, didn't look like it did, did much. I'm going to push OK. Oh, that didn't do much rounding. I'll try it again. Edit. Oh, it needs, you can change the radius here. So, let's try something over there. Point. That was a tiny bit. Let's try more. Bigger number. Oh, see that? See the corners? I'll try 0 0.05. There you go, see? Get your different shapes up here. Ellipse, that's close as they have to a circle on this one. You got ellipse, rectangle. Triangle, diamond, all these shapes. Okay. There we go. I got the rounded corners now. So I'm going to undo those letters right now. Undo. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you load another library for rehearsal markings. Come over here to File, top left. Load Library. Click on that. Go up to the jazz font. Here's rehearsal letter expressions. I double clicked on that. So that loaded another library for rehearsal marks, markings. I got my MF expression tool selected. I'm going to double click above this measure. Oh, see it's not right here. I'm going to go to this rehearsal marks. There they are. That's my new library. I'm going to go up here to show all, and you find it there also under show all. So I'm going to edit this right now. See, you can also do this auto sequencing. Oh, but if I remember right, if you use auto sequencing, let's see if it still has the square on it when you do that. See right here it says none. I'm going to press OK, assign, yep, I'm going to delete that, double click, I'm going to go to my, uh, this again, I'm going to edit this again, edit, I can uh, add a shape, square, no, where's my, uh, I'll put square, Edit, bring it in and make it thicker. I'll put a thicker, try two five. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. So I have the auto sequencing. I like that size 16, but if you want to change that size, remember to Deselect this little check mark there. Character settings. Select the size you want over here. I never make jazz text more bold. Regular is bold enough. So that's good. Assign. I'm going to I'm going to undo some of this, what I just did. Edit. Um. I, I still have my new library in there. 
yeah, this before I edited it. So if you don't edit this, I like how that fancy square symbol looks. So uh, assign it like that. That looks kind of nice. But it's not on automatic now. So you got a letter B. Assign it. Or you can move it to another measure like that. But I think we can still edit the size and keep that that nice. I'm going to double click on this letter B. I'm going to edit that letter B. Yeah, we still have to uncheck this. Now we can character setting. Let's try 18. Okay. Oh, and I think it keeps the square. Even though it says no enclosure shape. 18. This is, let's try this 18 and see what it looks like. Okay. Assign. Yeah, it keeps that fancy shape. I'm going to edit this again. I'm going to edit this letter B. But see, it did. I'm going to move this over. When I made the letter B larger, it did not make the letter A larger. Because I wasn't using the automatic thing. So if you... The automatic thing is actually easier. I'm going to try one more thing while I'm in here. On this font. See if you can't really change that fancy shape, but you can add another shape around it, which is silly. You don't need to do that. See, that's silly. You don't need to do that. Okay. So that's, that's all I think all I need to show you right now. There's one more thing. So I showed you this select expression tool when you, create your your uh, rehearsal markings. I'll show you why right now. I'm going to come up here to the selection tool. I'm going to um, move this measure up one step. I'm going to press my up arrow button. And see how that letter A it moves with the measure. I'm going to highlight this measure right now. That's going to, And I'm going to press my down arrow button. That's going to move both of these measures down. See how that A always stays with the measure. That's when you use anything under this expression tool up here. Anything you put above a measure, it'll move when you move the measure around. If you delete the measure, you're going to lose it though. I'll show you. I'm going to delete this measure. Delete. And I lost my letter A. Anything that that this MF, it stays with that measure. If you delete the measure, it goes away. So look up here at the text tool. Do not use this for making uh, rehearsal letters. I'll show you why. I'm going to uh, double click right here. Oh, letter A. Now watch what happens. I'm going to selection tool up here left. The, the arrow, I'm going to move the measure right here, up, with my up arrow. Oh, that, did, that didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, it gives you the idea. I'm going to I'm gonna select this measure and move it down. See, the letter A did not go with that measure. It stayed just where you put it in the first place. That's why you don't use this tool for anything in the measures. It's only for up here, the title. And uh, words up here, and uh, measure, and the page numbers, or or text at the bottom of the score, but nothing in the measures because it will not move with your measures. And I think that's that's all I need to show you on rehearsal markings. It's pretty easy. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you for watching.